Gene expression, the production of a protein, consists of two main processes. The first being transcription, when DNA's genetic information is transferred to RNA, and the second being translation, when the RNA transcript specifies the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide. Now we will get into transcription. This starts off when an RNA polymerase enzyme attaches to a section of DNA that contains a specific order of nucleotides called a promoter. The helicase enzyme has already unzipped the DNA helix and prepared a fine piece of DNA for transcription. Along this sense strand of DNA, RNA polymerase enzymes begin a process known as complementary base pairing. A new RNA strand is being created which is attached to the sense strand of DNA. Sugar phosphate bonds form as complementary base pairing occurs in the same way of DNA except uracil binds with adenine instead of thiamine. The new mRNA strand or messenger RNA is a modified copy of the original DNA strand. It will be further modified in processing, the second part of transcription. Once produced, sections called introns are removed and exons are kept since they are required to form proteins. A series of adenosine nucleotides, the poly A tail, are added to the three end, while an altered guanine nucleotide, the methyl cap, is added to the five front end. Altogether, the removal of introns and the modification of five and three ends is called processing. RNA now leaves the nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm where translation will begin. Translation Translation is the second step of gene expression which allows for protein synthesis to occur. The sequence of bases used for polypeptide production follows a triplet code where each three-letter nucleotide is called a codon. There are 64 different possibilities for the codons, which is more than enough since there are only 20 amino acids. Therefore, each amino acid has multiple corresponding codons. Initiation Initiation is the first step of translation. Once an amino acid chain, known as messenger RNA, attaches to the ribosomal rRNA with a peptide bond, it begins translation at the AUG codon, methionine. Elongation. Elongation is the second step of translation. The amino acids are added on to form a polypeptide chain which is specified by the codons. tRNA attaches to a second binding site of rRNA. Since there are multiple binding sites, two tRNAs can be at the ribosome simultaneously. The tRNA structure has amino acids on top and the anticodon bases on the bottom. As it goes through the ribosome, the amino acids will combine with each other and separate from the tRNA. This process is called chain elongation. Termination is the last and final step of translation. The chain starts at the 5 end and works its way to the 3 end until it reaches a stop codon, UAA, UGA, or UAG. These codons have a protein called a release factor which causes an H2O to be attached to the end of a chain and disconnected. The protein completes, mRNA breaks down, and rRNA splits into subunits. This amazing process of translation occurs for up to 7 codons per second in prokaryotic cells and 3 codons per second for eukaryotic cells.